Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the stream, or if this is your first stream of the day, or ever, welcome. Uh, we're going to be playing some Shadows Over Loathing today, while my cat probably screams in the background because he just, I don't know, he's a cat, they do that. <laughs> we're going to continue Shadows Over Loathing today, but before we continue that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to adjust the disproportionately high rate in harm jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because society loves keeping us poor and it loves punishing us for being poor. So these folks help combat that at least a little bit. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in donating to, I have a donation button below my stream that goes to the Tiltify campaign. I also have a donate command, exclamation point donate, that will get you that link. And every 30 minutes or so, my chatbot stream will stream out its chatbot will share that link as well to the Tiltify campaign. And whenever the stream screen comes up, you'll see a QR code in the bottom left of the screen. You can scan that with your mobile device, and that will also help you donate. Any way you choose to do so, greatly appreciated. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Uh, well. Give me a sec. Looks like my uh, my YouTuber thingy just decided to. Well, I did update my my graphics card drivers because I've been fiddling with shaders, just trying to get shaders to work on the Minecraft thingy that we're gonna be playing today. With not as much success as you could hope. There we go. We exist. Unfortunate for better or for worse. We exist. Anyway, now that that's taken care of, let's get the game pulled up here. Uh, let's see. Shadows Over Loathing. It's a really great game. Highly, highly, rec can highly recommend it, and it's the, the previous game. Which is um, West of Loathing. I can highly recommend either of them. They're both very good. Apparently this game has a remote play together even though it's a single player game. <laughs> wow, it is hot here. Yeah, this is the hellhole. Smoldering creosote bush, okay. Head head off in search of an eye hole? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, so. I was kinda kinda puttering around in the older places before coming to the government valley because this is like the the finale chapter. This bunch, this, this bunch, this bench has been covered in spikes and no vagrants are tempted to sit on it. Yep, that's a uh, government for ya. Wander off into the desolation, rubble, and burnt out buildings? For once, I have a map. Of, like a real actual map. Uh, well, where should we go first? How about the tel telephony facility? You hear hooting and... <laughs> You hear hooting and yelling nearby, and look, the game's nearly over. It's not like you're gonna learn not to investigate this kind of stuff now. It turns out to be a small band of roving and or raving maniacs. Seems like maybe their minds got corrupted by the shadows and they aren't reacting very well to it. I guess I'm just assuming. Scream out all your teeth might just be like, I don't know, a fun thing they're into. A hobby. Uh, well, let's, oh. I don't like this little doll. Alright, sacks of violence. <clears throat> well, let's try to make this thing perish. Almost. Let's kill this little bastard. Okay, and then we will blast them with this hex rock. 37 damage. Boom. Oh, she does get to go, so now she's gonna just shoot and kill everything else. Perfect. You won. Maybe maybe a four snap will settle down a little bit. Government cheese. Oh, government cheese. Sweet Betsy the maniacal doll. 
Finally, a knife wielding maniac on your side. <laughs> we got a lot of meat. It's pretty good. All right, we're at the tel telephony facility. An ordinary phone booth. E, ignore it. Done. <laughs> Well, let's, uh, some sort of unusual structure here. It's made of some strange kind of metal you've never seen before. It's opaque, but still somewhat how glowing from within, like a cool, like a math book that swallowed a candle. It's cool to the touch, but yet radiance kind of warmth. This doesn't feel like the typical art project. Why build an otherwise abandoned area? Hmm. Well, there currently doesn't seem to be anything really here. Except phones that we have chosen to ignore. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to federal prison, I guess. We've encountered the stone foundation of a bakery that appears to have suffered some kind of massive explosion. See how it feels about it. The foundation knows that it is strong, but it regrets not being strong enough to save the rest of the bakery from the massive explosion. Next time, it'll try harder. <laughs> Someone's calling, but that's not a normal ring. Maybe it's an international call? They, they look sad. Oh, they're not bothering anybody. But this isn't the one. I don't want to talk to them. I understand. I'll burn the telephone then. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Apparently, apparently uh, we are not the ones we wanted to talk to. Some prisoner must have discarded their hat here when they were released. Prison hat. More item drops, more meat drops. Eh, that's not bad. See, someone really doesn't know how to park. I'll just wait outside, Sugar. Should, shouldn't Otto let the guards lay peepers on me? Would they recognize you? They would if they were paying attention to the wanted posters. You have a wanted poster? Neat! If we see one, I'll have to have you autograph it for me. Come on, Sugar. This ain't the time to stand around beating our gums. Let's get a wiggle on so we can ditch this pop stand. I'm liable to get the horrors. Uh, yeah, okay. It's gonna be very good at security. This door isn't even locked. Small wonder they kicked this guy out of the cell blocks. He's playing harmonica. Hi, I'm Mar. Wonk. I'm Crimsley. Jim Crimsley. Or Crimesley. Nice uh, sounds. Thanks. Takes a lot of practice to get good at the, har the honk Of course, all I got is time. Any chance you want to part with that honky horn? And go back to playing just harmonica? Hmm. Oh, I'll swap to you for a cracker. Just a cracker? Are you that hungry? Oh. Huh? Oh, you're new. It ain't my job to show fish the ropes. Go ask Tetley in 1A. He shows fish the ropes? That's a weird job. Guess I can't think of anything else uh, to ask you. See you around. Later. Okay, so. Chiropractor, a mess hall. H Harden? Oh, Warden. I can't. It's. Seems like this guy's enjoying his mopping. Hi, I'm Mar. Hey there, I'm Moppy. Huh, weird coincidence that your parents named you that. And here you are now, Mopping. It's a nickname. People call me that because I like to mop floors. Oh, I assumed it was going to be a, a comedic reversal. Should I have a nickname? I feel like a hit person nickname like yours would help me fit in. Oh, I'm happy to suggest one if you want. Sure, hit me. Pinko? Ah, uh, try again. Sandwich? <laughs> That's tempting. Fishy? Hmm, Skittles? How about Sugar Plum? Grab ya. Patootie? Wiffle Ball? <laughs> Dishwater? Dweezel? Weevil? Persnickety? Hmm, Sousaphone? Dungaree? You look like a bongo to me. Crab? Tempting. Pinocchio? You're like a... Like a g gooper. I like... Welcome to the family, Gooper. I will never regret this. If you ever need information, Gooper, just ask me. I overhear all kinds of stuff when I'm mopping. Thanks, good to know. See ya, Moppy. I am now Gooper! Okay, and then we can go to 1A. Oh. Yeah, this guy looks like he's a little excited. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hi, I'm Tentley. You want to buy a cracker? You're selling crackers? How much? They're under meat. For a cracker? You're crackers. New around here, huh? Look, crackers are what we call gift certificates to the prison chiropractor. We use them as currency. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Tet Tetley fans out a handful of gift certificates and waves them at you. 
So, wanna buy a cracker? Is it true you show ropes to fish? What? Where'd you hear that? Who's the dirty rattle box that's been spreading filthy rumors about me? Jim Crimesley. Crimesley? Eh, well, if I get my hands on him, I'll pay someone else to get their hands on him. So, wanna buy a cracker? Yeah, I'll buy a cracker. The certificate entitles the bearer to one complimentary spine adjustment in the prison chiropractor's office. Nope, I don't want more. Here's a grumpy looking fella. Hey there, I'm Gooper. I'm Rimmel. What do you want? Guess I can't think of anything to ask you. See you around. Whatever. This cell is empty. Someone isn't someone isn't meeting their crime quota, of course. This this guy's getting getting pretty buff, well in the arms at least. Hi, I'm Gooper. Can you teach me to do that? Teach you to lift a dumbbell? Yeah, sure, for a cracker. It's a deal, okay then. He passes one of his dumbbells to the bars and show you how to bend your elbow. Ah, well. You got a perk. That's permanent. Well, I guess I need to buy another cracker because. I fucking spent the other one learning how to lift a, d a dumbbell. This guy's apparently managed to smuggle in a full length sword. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hey, Gooper, I'm Clive. Nice sword. Thanks. Technically, it's a Japanese style katana. Huh. How on earth did you get a katana in here? I made it I made it in the prison machine shop out of folded up license plates. Huh, can I buy your katana? Well, okay, I guess. I can make another one. I'll swap it for a, a deck of luckies. Come again? A pack of cigarettes. Oh, I've had these cigarettes for a while. Here you go. Huh, I wasn't really expecting you to have them. Well, a deal's a deal. Hand-forged katana. This guy said he made it out of license plates. If you look really closely, you can just... Faintly see where it says Capital District on the edge of the blade. <laughs> Sweet. You want your katana back? You seem regretful. Thanks, but nah, it's okay. I've already made plans for an even better one. Maybe even an Odachi or Nagamaki. Neat! Alright, bye. <laughs> Super hunky horn. Oh, well, that probably wasn't worth it. Oh, let's see what else is going on. Either the cell is empty or they arrested some air. <laughs> this guy looks a little smug for being in jail. Hi there, I'm Gooper. Hey, how's it going, Gooper? I'm Wilmer. Oh, bye. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Donna. What are you doing here? Levitating in orange. Neat! Tell me more about your hovering orange. Well, since it's so boring in here, I've been exercising my imagination. As it turns out, if you get really good at imagining things, you can trick your brain into believing they're real. If you get really good at that, you can make them actually real. Wow, jeez. Wait, so why are you still in the jail cell? Well, these bars are suddenly disappearing. It's a little harder to imagine than a floating orange. I see. Can you teach me your imagination thing? I imagine so, but this kind of power is potentially dangerous and therefore valuable. I'll teach you for a cracker. Uh, well, we got plenty of meat that I'm not really using for anything else, so let's just buy, like, I'll buy, I'll buy them as I need, I'll buy crackers as I need them, I guess, because I don't want to buy a bunch of them and then not use them, but at least something like these can give us perks. Yep. She, pu <laughs> she puts you through a variety of imagination training exercises, mentally rotating cubes and so on, until you finally got the hang of it. Mysticality. Well... I mean, that's just an extra free mysticality for skill checks, so I can't really bother. Wow, thanks. Now I just have to find an orange. <laughs> it works in other things, too. Apples? Whoa, whoa, don't aim too high there. <laughs> Alright, it just, it just has bones in it. They must have committed a bone crime. <laughs> it's unclear how this guy could be cooking food in his cell, but it, that does seem to be what he's doing. Are you cooking? Want to sell me that spatula? Mm, not really. But I, but I do need a box of coffin nails. Cigarettes? Yeah, to help me master the flavor of what this is I've been cooking. Where do you get cigarettes in here? You can't. You have to be able to leave and go, get, go to a real store. Uh, I don't really need the spatula. I don't really do magic weapons. Looks like you found the source of that whistling. Hi, I'm Mitch. You're a pretty good whistler. Thanks. It's been practicing ever since I swapped my harmonica to Crimesley. What'd you get in return? Can of stash wax. Sold to some other guy, though. Huh, okay. Can you teach me to whistle? Another cracker? Okay. Well, let's go get... Let's let, let's go get a cracker for uh, Mitch here. I, I can imagine that gets us Moxie, which is the main thing I use. So, that's definitely worth it. 
to get another free moxie. Hi, Pookie. Are you whistling with your meows? Not really a whistle, I guess, but... Great. Okay, it's pretty easy. Just put your lips together. Murder a guy for sleeping with your car. And get sentenced to life in prison and blow. Can I skip that middle bit? Sure, I guess, but that's what worked for me. What's the cork for? In case you want to stop. The prisoner is in the cell just stares, dead-eyed. Hi, I'm Gooper. How, how's it going? What are you in for? Are you okay, bud? So, uh, how's the food in here? Get along with the other prisoners? Just, just off on your own little world, huh? I guess everyone's in their own coping strategies. You know, I'm at a librarian I think you'd get along with. Guy named Ted, real quiet. Got a single eye giant eyeball for a head. It's coming for you, not her. Okay, nice chatting, bye now. <laughs> this dark haired young woman glares at you while turtling a sharpened toothbrush in her fingers. What you looking at, rubberneck? Amscray, your mama's calling for you. I can't help notice your tattoo. Is that a, a heart with an N and M on it? I'll put the shiv in your noticers. Go go milk a duck, peeper. Oh, you are definitely Nancy. You need some gill, right? What are you, a slap man, a gazer, or just a scissor? Not any of those, probably. I'm a friend of Molly's. Oh, huh. Well, if you know Molly and you ain't full of holes, you must be alright. What's the score, pal? I think I just should, I think I should just let Molly explain that. She's here? Well, what am I listening to your teeth rattle for? Oh, go get her. Molly, baby. Noodles! <laughs> I'm glad you weren't too late. I asked you not to call me that in public. What are you doing here? We agreed you went visit because of the fuzz catch set of you. We ain't seen a single hack and... And anyway, I had to bring you this cake. Oh, you brought me a cake? Aren't you a sweet potato? Wait, is this an Alcatraz special? I don't get it. I only got about a year left. I mean, yeah, it hurts being apart, but they didn't tell you? They're transferring you to Bridgewater. Bridgewater? Why? I only stabbed <laughs> three guards and five inmates. Or six if you count the guy whose face I peeled off. Okay, I guess I can see it. Transfer could be any day. Now, you got to bust out here tonight. Okay, yeah, right after lights out. I'll have to go to ground and lay low for a few weeks, but I'll get in touch after that. Okay, you better make it. If you get caught or hurt, I'll... I'll... Hey, now, come on, Button. You know me. Turn off the head waterworks. I'll be fine. I'll be fine as frog hair. You better... You better scram for one of the few remaining guards comes by. Here, it ain't your birthday yet, but I made you a little something. Nancy holds up a fine chain necklace with a Tommy gun bullet hanging from it. She fastens it around Molly's neck, and you look away awkward as the two of them share a kiss through the bars. Aw, that's sweet. You gonna be okay? Yeah, Nancy's right. I don't gotta worry. She's tough as nails. Tough as anything. She's a little scary, frankly. They peel the guy's face off? <laughs> yeah, that's a little Nancy McGill for you. And I thought you were crazy. Maybe I was Maybe I was right. <laughs> Sugar, there's one thing you should understand about me by now. It's that I don't like getting, I don't like getting bored. I guess not. Oh, well, that's nice. We've assisted, uh... We've assisted her and with her cake. This guy in the cell is ignoring you, and he's doing it real hard. This guy's practicing the most dangerous and therefore best kind of juggling. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hey, I'm Lewis. Want to sell me that shiv? I suppose. I can swap for a pack of cigs. Oh, I can go get a pack of cigs, and they'll give me a, a probably a new moxie weapon. Let's actually do that. It's it's pretty easy to get back here. Let's see, Cola Wars cigarette, r ration cigarettes. Pretty cheap. <laughs> Trench spork. Hmm. Anything else useful in here? Probably not at this point in the game. Oh, no, that's actually pretty good. Heals your moxie plus six physical damage. Let's look at our current weapon. Does your, your moxie plus six physical damage and causes two bleeding and three poison and one fire. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I've, I've loaded that up pretty nicely with, uh, with modifiers over the course of a while. Moxie plus six. 
Okay, that's about that's about equal to this, but it's got more modifiers. Piece of rock that, when squeezed, fires several fires smaller pieces of rock at extremely high speeds in a consistent direction. It truly is nature's gun. <laughs> that's pretty great. Dangling bags for army stuff. I mean, I might as well buy the uh, buy the spatula too. Don't need it, but I mean, if it's there, federal prison. A movement catches the corner of your eye, and you turn to see several tall, long-limbed figures gliding towards you. They twist and twirl as gracefully as ballerinas as they approach. But this beauty is contradicted by their heads, which are indescribable shadows. I'm not out using indescribable as a horror cop out. I'm literally uncertain about what's going on with their head area. They have like a winged collar or maybe side horns? But I think there's a mouth on it? I don't know. Fight them and see for yourself, it's weird. They They are a little fucked up. Well I can finish that one. Finish you off. Finish you off. Can I kill either of these? <clears throat> basically, I basically can. Because I can almost kill you, and then I can actually kill you. And Nancy should get her turn next. And she can just shoot him. Boop. Yep. Nice. You won. Guess their pa, pa de dukes wasn't a pa de du <laughs> I probably said that wrong anyway. I tried though. 22 XP. A bunch of meat. Yeah, I'm not really super worried about meat. If these random encounters seem to give a good amount. Ballet slippers. Ballerina tea. <laughs> Smoldering tutu. Interesting. Joseph the Nutcracker. Inch. Horrible little. A horrifying little crimbo buddy. Hell yeah. We love horrifying crimbo buddies. He's, he wants some smokes. Makeshift prison spatula. See, I'm thinking maybe it might be worth us getting this uh, shiv. Artisanal shiv. Oh yeah, that's a pretty that's pretty damn good. It's not always just about stabbing a guy. Sometimes it's about vengefully stabbing a guy for making fun of the craftsmanship of all your previous shivs. Thanks. These are gonna get be much trickier to juggle than <laughs> the cigarettes. Alright, well. Let's look at our previous weapon. Previous weapon has Moxie plus 6, 8, 11, 12. This one does. It's almost. It's slightly less. But. The damage is also mo more focused on the uh, bleeding. <laughs> Prison spatula. Bag of spoiled. But oh, that's actually a weapon. <laughs> uh, well, let's equip our artisanal shiv. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have any things I can add to this. Uh. So that's like the last like major shiv weapon we had. Make any weapon into a wand. Interesting. Spider leg wand. The world's dirtiest broom. A disposable razor blade. Yep, I'll add two more bleed to the artisanal shiv. You affix the disposable razor blade to your artisanal shiv, which by the transitive, transitive property of disposably becomes disposable itself. Excellent. <laughs> dire corn on the dire cob. <laughs> Occam, Occam's gator's toenail. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Increase the damage of a weapon by one. Yep. You attach the lead weight to your disposable artisanal shiv, making it a lot heftier, okay? Slapping trout. The woodcutter's axe. 
This is a shark. It's very shiny and very sharp. It definitely hasn't been left in a dank cave for decades. Make any weapon to a gun, which uses Moxie. Mushman Spear. I'll just make sure I didn't have any other, uh... It's like a miscellany. Add three cold armor to a hat. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Add three HP as well, which I don't have on this hat. Oh, maybe it already does. No, it does. I can't. I just can't read. <laughs> you add the band dramatically increases the the bandedness of your hat. Ah. Let's see. Oh, that's that's hats. Let's look at a uh, miscellany. <clears throat> Letter opener, worm pellet. Ugh. Let's not say we did. A, a noodle. Mmm, delicious. That's three poison to weapon. Oh well, don't mind if I do. You speared a nasty soybean goo all over your hefty disposable artisanal shiv. Well done, old bean. Oh, we can open the junk mail because of our letter opener. You slip the envelope and dump out its contents. Fruit advertisement. This fruit ad is this fruit ad is pr printed on a compressed sheet of fruit. Strangely, it's not the same kind of fruit that's being advertised. Perfume sample. Okay. Is that all? What all these have? Oh no, that one had something else. Stainless steel business card. Oh, it's an item. Ten bleeding. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, three smoky armor to a pair of pants. Oh, quilted. Okay, got that. A wet cigarette. Bad for you, but not as bad as, as, bad as a whole pack. I'm not gonna. Let, I'm not gonna let you start smoking. But I'm an adult. Yes, and I want you to live to be an old adult. But it'll make me look cool. Nothing is cooler than not living your enemies. <laughs> Damn. This cigarette is much less wet than it was when you found it. Just contemplating the cigarette for a while made it, uh, worthy, worthy, I guess. Sixteen teeth. New mouth starter kit. Physical armor to pants. I'm looking for to see if there's any other things I can just add to like my weapon. I already did the chunk of lead. We've got gun parts, which is already. It's like snow, but in flake form. Can you even imagine? A beamed up, hefty, disposable artisanal shiv. Help make up for the fact that the shiv is not a ranged weapon, which ranged weapons get a... Ranged weapons get a... Um, well, my hat gives them, like, three more damage. Well, since I don't have a ranged weapon right now, I could use another accessory instead. Force bean. This repulsive soybean has some sort of weird repulsive effect on nearby objects. Oily really doily is pretty good. A lucky hobo nickel is more drops. Item drops. Fancy dress socks is. Those are exactly the same, which is interesting. Bacon stone bracelet. Uh, an extra AP each round. And Kursky, 50% to item drops. Damn. Hmm. 
Honestly, I probably prefer to have something that's more damage. Help me do more damage, and since I'm uh. So I probably need something that gives me moxie. Hmm. I'll do the oily doily. And the whetstone ring is makes knife in the dark much better, which is good. Knife in the dark is good. Now I have an actual knife to do knife in the dark. Alright, sweet. Well, I think that's the last bit of cell block three. Let's go to the chiropractor and Why do you have just like a This has a very small amount of spa like ambiance to the room. The poster is labeled bones and things that can be wrong with them. Well, one of the chiropractor's less fortunate customers. This guy basically looks like a doctor. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hello, I'm Dr. Dixley. How can I help you? Are you the prison physician? Close. I'm the prison chiropractor. What's the difference? Well, a physician treats ailments through specific medications and treatments tailored to that ailment. A chiropractor fixes everything by pushing on your spine. Uh-huh. Interesting. Can I get an adjustment? Certainly. It's just for one of my gift certificates. Can I buy a gift certificate? Sorry, some hoodlum made off with the whole stack and I haven't had any more printed yet. Yep. You <laughs> so, let's go buy. Let's buy. An let's buy another cracker, and we'll get our spine adjusted. I guess that's not a bad idea, right? Great. Just lie down on the table there. This is safe, right? I'm a little nervous about letting someone mess with the bones that connects the nerves that let my head communicate with all the rest of my body. Oh. Oh. All right. Look, just because the science was developed by a man who didn't believe in vaccines or even germs and claimed the techniques were given to him by a ghost during a seance, and also I don't have that kind of actual legal medical degree, that doesn't make me a quack, okay? I know what I'm doing. Plus, science and seance are basically the same word. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, well, I do feel better. Is this a perk? No, it's an effect. Well, I guess that matters, so. Pay 300 meat for an effect that will probably go away when we sleep. Mess hall. Oh, well, it's a little messy. This prisoner seems determined to eat more pepper than food. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hi, I'm Nora. Oh, nice spice jar. I need, I need this one so I can keep eating here without dying of boredom. I have a similar gadget I can sell you, though. It sells you an elaborate mechanical pepper mill. I made it in the prison machine shop, but I decided to prefer a traditional shaker. I'll give you this one for a cracker. Oh, so we can get a cracker and get back to her. Without even looking at you, the man slaps a dollop of slop on the plate and hands it to you. The, this prison figured out how to improve their efficiency by serving the prisoners a blended up combination of bread and water. Well, I mean, one slop per customer. <laughs> well, let's buy another cracker. There goes like all of our meat, but if we really want meat, it looks like we can just wander around and get a good amount from the encounters. Especially with the oily doily giving us more uh, meat drops. Sounds good. An offhand item. Deal your muscle and hot damage to all enemies and heal your team for the same amount once per fight. Ooh, that's actually not half bad. Maybe I can trade this for some decent food. Alright, bye. Uh, I think we'll get some new shoes. The, ba the ballet slippers. <laughs> Alright, well let's go to the... This, this door has a big complicated looking keypad on it. You're not getting in there. Charlestown State Pen. A generous c chemical company has donated some toxic waste for the prisoners to enjoy. Of course. These rocks are cold and distant. Reach out to the rocks. These stones open up for you. Oh, thanks. This guy's having some kind of wild time. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Gooper. Hi, I'm Vinny. I like your weird ball. First time I ever heard that. Yeah, I had to invent this because we ha we haven't got a basketball hoop. Ah, oh, I see. Any chance I could buy that? Hmm. All right, I'll sell it to you for a cracker. Maybe. This guy seems pretty good at lifting weights. Hi, I'm Gooper. Hey, I'm Bruno. It seemed more bleak and depressing over that way. <laughs> 
Oh. Somebody's long abandoned herb, gar herb garden. Well, since I've, sp I've spent money on crackers for everything else, I might as well do that for that too. I don't know what it is. But we've already gotten like a weapon upgrade and like a perk or something and... Yes, yeah, dude stole all those certificates. Can hardly do worse than buying this too. Muscle and a physical damage three times in a row once per fight. Huh. What's my current offhand? Because that seems pretty good. An uncursed pot. Yeah, I don't even like use this slot for much of anything. Muscle and hot damage to all enemies and heal your team for the same amount. So it looks like that would heal my team for 9 and deal 9 damage. The call is now both haunted and curse. Super honky horn. Dealing mysticality and physical damage to all enemies and raise your team stats by 3. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Filthy rag, slap an opponent with it. Do your mystical and spooky damage. What are you selling me? Stats by five. Which isn't really. Yeah, it's not much different than that. Uh, basketball on this, basketball on this, on the end of a rubber string, so you can dribble in any direction you want. That has a poss the potential to do like 27 damage because my muscle is currently 9. Well. <laughs> it's important your pants be well ventilated. Makes sense. I don't know if there's anything else here. We basically just bought everything. We also helped uh, Nancy's girlfriend. Which is great. I was hoping to be able to do that. I'll just wait outside, sugar. Should not let the guards lay peepers. Or blah, 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 blah. Alright. Well, let's uh, go elsewhere in Government Valley. Let's go to uh, this place. It's closest. Who puts up statues to the accountants? There's a cast iron one that, of that humorous drip Terence Point Dexter looming over the abandoned commissary. Fuck it up. The commissary was raided a long time ago, but there's still crates of toilet paper left on the high shelves. You wrap the statue in the disrespectful material until the accountant looks like a, a pyramid county mummy. Mm. Oh. A briefcase has been discarded among the rubble. Oh, it's full of meat. It's amazing what people will throw away if you press them enough. Jesus. Yeah? This, this, rub, this bit of rubble is sad. The brick is afraid its best days are behind it. UL, ULA and collected spheres. Mmm, delicious. Hopefully next year's model will be right side up. Oh, another another cursed ass phone. Good, they're up. Do you like, do you like playing with matches, caller? Sure, we all do. This is not the one. I understand. I won't, no, I want this telephone. Now, I'll get it for you. Hey, wait. Oh, <laughs> there goes the telephone. <laughs> I, don't know the, I don't know the consequences of my actions very well. Considering in, like, the last place, there was, a uh, This dude's also went to, he's like, don't look at my daughter. Or, like, something bad will happen. I was like, okay, cool. So, I was gonna go... I went to go to the left thinking my character would like not look at her but he did but they did and the entire house disappeared and I was like oh no wonder if there's like a, a perk that you can do with trees like this similar to the rocks local branch of the IRS is looking pretty run down you think they'd have plenty of funds for upkeep maybe this is maybe that isn't how it works Take a deep breath and settle your nerves. Clearly this is a trap. It's possible that you did underpay your taxes by 13 meat. But to get a notice of that now is too much of a coincidence. Terrence Poindexter is up to something. But if you don't step through that door, you'll never find out what. 
All right. What we got here? A paper shredder here by the grace of the prolific inventor Abbott Augustus Lowe. A bill building array of forms. There's a lot of forms here. Which one do you? Oh no. We're gonna have to get a certain form. I'm gonna have to remember which one they want me to get, and that's gonna be tedious. Let's. Well, let's get started. This clerk is just staring off into space. His hands are covered with paper cuts. Hi there. I'm here about the overdue tax notice. Nothing to do with me. Sorry. Who do I talk to then? Someone else. Jesus. Yes. Hi, I'm here about the Silver 2 tax notice. Do you need it stapled? Uh, no, it's only one page. Can't help you with it then. Swell. The singeing. Behind his gently smoking counter. Yeah? I got a letter about overdue taxes. Rough. I guess you want the person you need to talk to about that? Oh, no. Nope. Maybe that's the clerk to the left there? My left, your left. Sure. <laughs> Under terms of my office, there's no right... Excuse me. Who do I need to talk to about the Zero Two Tax Notice? Please say it's you. Only if you need it notarized. Do I need it notarized? Oh, I'm not qualified to make that determination. Great. All right, it's probably you. Behind the bulletproof glass. <laughs> Can I help you? I sure hope so. I get this notice in the mail about overdue taxes. Hold up to the glass, please. Mm hmm Yes. All right. You need to file the proper form for, with your payment. I was afraid of that. Blank forms are in the rack in the left side of the room. Which form do I need? Oh, be clear from the serial number. No. All right, I guess we're gonna guess at which form we need. K49, blah, 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 a different form? Is there like a certain one I'm looking for? I, sweet Jesus Christ. There's one with a funny number, I'm gonna grab it, but otherwise, I have no idea which one of these I need to grab. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, yeah, we gotta grab one form at a time. Attack her. Bulletproof glass. I'm sorry, we cannot accept this form if it's folded. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> we could just fight him. Well, let's maybe not do that. Hmm. Well, I guess that means we're getting a. Do we need to singe it, I guess, then? Do you need to sign this form? No, I'm not a singer. Huh, no offense, but they're really boring songs. I'm a singer. Why is anything necessary? It's what I do. Uh, sorry, I can always singe a form if it's stapled. It has to be stapled first, then singed. Makes the f can I just throw this form away? No. Oh, uh, Guess I have to gu guillotine it. <laughs> Your form is now a form. <laughs> An incomprehensibly completed tax form. Oh, well, it's now a form. Maybe I can just, like, get it folded. With the letter... Oh, I guess you got to shred it to pieces and grab a folder a form with the letter I. Your form is now a four. <laughs> your four is now a four. Your four is now an F. You slice the last little bit of your form. Hello, Ash. How did the move go? Were, were you able to help out? We're, we're in the IRS, and we have to find a specific form so we can pay our taxes of 13 meat. It needs to start with an I, because the person in today only does I forms for folding. You hand him your form, and he expects to let's see, I, 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 S. There is, there it is, I, that checks out, I'll fold it for you now. Oh, sweet. <laughs> what can I do for you? Staple my form, please. This form ends with the number two, is that a problem? You need a form ends with an odd number. Even odd number forms don't get staped. Oh, God. Okay, so. 
Oh. <laughs> it doesn't end with a two now. <laughs> Okay, so we need we need a form that's an I that ends with an odd number. <laughs> this is a li <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> there's no proper way to get rid of Oh, there's a paper shredder. I probably could have used that instead. This is li Okay, so we need a form that's an I that ends with an odd number. So we're just gonna spoon around until we find an eye. Oh, there's that's an I thirteen so far. Okay, you gonna staple for me, please? Okay, what's the next hurdle we gotta go through for this guy? Uh, <laughs> so it. <laughs> So I need a I need a three I need a three letter a three long form that has an even number in front of a, lo, a long number. <laughs> All right, it has to be an I. It has to have an I. Uh, I have a feeling the zero is counted as an even number, so. God. So I need to have even and then odd. So that one's not going to do. And it has to start with an I. That. That one might work. An I-63. Let's try it. Okay. All right, and then we go to the the, the guillotine shredder. C cut off, cut off the three. Get it singed. And now this one's gonna be like, oh, I I can't have numbers or some shit. Oh god, now okay, he has he notarizes it for a thousand. We still have the form, we can we can we, we can go get the thousand meat. <laughs> we can just wander around outside and try to get some uh Well let's let, let, let's let's look at our gear and try to maximize meat gains. I go get this one that gives us meat drops. Do I have one that gives us other meat drops? XP, Wandering Shadow Creatures, Chaotic Fights, Knife and Dark, Sell It, Sell It, Okay, well that might be about as good as we can really get unless I have like a hat that gives me meat drops. Oh, I do. All right, cool. All right, well let's uh, wander. You find yourself in front of a for forbidden, forbidding building, the crumbling road of some government office. It's bureau bureaucrats now replaced with regular rats. Oh, hey, we got some meat. We got some meat from the rat building. With a, with a sinister hissing, the shadows of a nearby alley coalesce in the forms of three shadow policemen. Looks like you better get ready for a fight. Don't sweat it, sugar. I got this one. Molly mows down the cop silhouettes with a burst from her Tommy gun. And then, burst, then they burst into wisps of black smoke that quickly disperse. So, uh, never mind. Good thing we just got, like, the physical embodiment of ACAB in our fucking party. <laughs> what the frig? Molly has stopped in front of a wall that has been plastered with several broad... Broad sheet posters. The illustration is of a sultry blonde woman making a kissy face at the viewer, with a battleship on the fire on fire in the background. Loose women sink ships. No dancing. No short skirts. No obscene language. Wow. <laughs> well, Molly unexpectedly says nothing. With gritted teeth, she ejects the drum from her Tommy gun, opens the cover, and does something inside with her knife. 
What are you doing? Give me a minute, sugar. I'm carving the rudest words I know into all my bullets. I'll show them how to sink a damn ship. <laughs> Molly's Tommy gu Tommy spray hits three additional times. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, actually. Thanks, game. Uh, oh, here's a fight. You are just straight up being attacked by a giant hovering wad of cancer. Considering there are still going to be cigarette ads on the, on the radio for another 43 years. And they won't even stop start banning smoking in airplanes for 60. You'd think such a direct assault would be unnecessary. Guess it got impatient. Oh. Well, that's terrifying. Got just all sorts of shadow critters. Well, let's do one of these bad boys. I got anything this is a pretty uh, hefty fight let's see if I got anything I can use to kind of oh a nuclear bomb might work well I, they only think these can only take up to five damage which is awful I could throw another one because I can use like four items per uh, turn it looks like Uh, here, I have a baseball. <laughs> yeah, these uh, shadow things are not very much fun to deal with. They just take a lot to take down because they just take only so much damage. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a messy fight, but hey, as long as we win, who cares? Well, might as well kill this thing. Well, I should have thought this a little further out. Maybe I should have killed this thing instead. Whatever. Leave Buzz alone, scamper, scamper. Yeah, these things actually do quite a bit of damage. So yeah, we need to um, have things not be alive. No longer bleeding, yay! And then we're gonna shiv this floating thing. Cancer, I guess. Now Molly can just unload on this bastard. Just. <laughs> Damn it, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Oh, well, technically not, because Molly's alive. That's probably the first time I've actually died, like Mar here. You said, who said there's no cure for, I didn't even get any meat. That's obnoxious. All that, all that for like just no meat gain, which is kind of what I'm trying to do. I, mean, I could probably sell some of this like grit stuff. Let's go to Ocean City and just see if we can sell some stuff. Cause I'm sure I got some stuff I could sell. I don't need like that's just, like a bunch of just extra stuff like I don't need two of these I don't need two shovels <laughs> amphibious truck engine of course 
Uh, let's see what. Just got a lot of stuff. Uh, trying to get this, like, I should have, like, a lot of certain things. Like, like, grit or something like that. Let's just scroll all the way down. Tentacle seed, scrap metal. Hmm. Mushroom steak. Mm. I'll keep like one of things like that. Like, I don't need two of those spider webs. <clears throat> okay, I have the 1000 now. Fairy knives. Not super useful. Fairy dust. Creepy forest fetish. No, I'll keep those. Same with those in case I get more stuff that I need to, uh... Ugh. Ah, that's not, like, the worst thing. Maybe I need to eat some stuff still. I don't even know. I didn't really look. What if... Old cold coffee. Mobius cookie. A moment on the lips and eternity on the hips. <laughs> Loose integers. Hex rock powder. Oh, I'll need like 10 mushroom caps. I need like maybe one. Same with these. I just killed a lot of mushrooms. I killed a lot of fairies too. As you can see, there's just a lot of these. I don't need more than maybe one fairy cake. To a fairy, this is a huge birthday cake. To you, it's a grizzly reminder that you killed a fairy on its birthday. <laughs> I love that. Dried swamp meat. Condensed swamp gas. Imagine if Reader's Digest branched out into a sewer treatment facility. Wand core. I'll keep one. Slush ball. Perfume samples. I can, uh. That's actually a pretty good amount of stench armor. So we'll keep, like, two of those in case I need to use them. Loose fist beam. Bean. That's not beam. Hmm. I noticed, like, some powder that I could sell. I thought I had a bunch of it. Like, I think I just literally got some, but... I mean, we got enough meat now. Let's go get our... fucking form fig filled out. While we're at it, though, I think I have a, probably a good amount of uh, XP. Let's go to some of these books. <laughs> Little is known about the history of Monenge. Tom Chapman's Diary. The secret Diary of a Bass Fish Scion. Sorry, it belongs to Tom Chapman. If found, please turn to Largemouth Bass and Sons. For controversial thoughts and secret plans, turn to page 19. Remember, I no consequence, turn to page 33. Seriously, but, but the only way we will be allowed to be followed is if we take the truck to the Gator Man camp. Yep. Animal ideas. Three toed squid. Chihuahua. Big. Four toed squid. Honey hating bear. Rabbit. More teeth. Faster chimp. Grandfather cat. Bald or eagle. Sleeping dog that lies. Egg cat. <laughs> Is 
This book is so much less scary than it used to be that it's now almost as boring as a real book. You can further enhance your media expertise if you have time and energy to devote to it. We do. We have a lot of XP. God damn. It's probably foolish to spend all this on that, but I think we just got, we have a, a much larger meat gain now. <laughs> You've learned to exercise the way they do in prison, out of soul crushing boredom and with a mean guy watching. <laughs> Daydream believer, expert whistler. You're really good at whistling Dixie and I'm not lying. Blue Delore. Mutton Magnate. Meet up. There we go. Yeah, that was a huge boost to that. I choose not to be cold. Sometimes you just choose not to be cold. Alright, well. Come on, notary. Let me guess. Um, okay, it does need to be notarized. Great, thank you. I'll notarize it for you now. Here I go. Um, <clears throat> hereby notarize this form in this date and in this place, under terms of my no office as notary public for the capital district. Thanks. This will be thirteen meat plus an eleven percent fine and eleven an eleven percent processing fee, which comes to fifteen fifteen point eight six eight six meat, right up to sixteen meat. Just toss it over the glass, please. Toss the meat to the clerk. She catches it and puts it in the drawer and makes some notes to the ledger. Payment received. Martini. 16 meat. I just take your form over there to the right through the giant hovering mouth. The what did you say? The fluorescent lights flicker. All the clerks vanish. You, s you turn slowly to the right and see a giant demonic mouth hovering in the air a few yards away. Well. <laughs> that's probably where we go. So let's uh, explore some other things first. <laughs> I've got, I've got, got a, call it a hunch, but I have a feeling that's kind of where we need to, oh, we can't leave. Oh, never mind, I guess we can. What is, it's another one of those things. It's one of those pay telescopes, so a better look at any of the scenery here is not value at all. Alright, well, let's explore some of the other buildings. A howl emits the air and reverberates through your guts. And the entire length of, the entire length of your guts. A massive black dog, or something that was once a dog, or perhaps something that was never a dog, sucks out of the alleyway and opens its about to reveal an entire expo center knife show worth of fangs. Oh. God, this is gonna be bad. All these shadow creatures are just terrible to deal with. Like every, like all of them always. Well, we're in a bit of a bit of a pickle here, so uh, let's just damage them all a little bit. Okay, we can use our AP to just kill off this spider. I can use this, which is a better use of AP, since it'll take one AP, but they'll uh. Five damage three times, which will be enough to kill this spider.
probably overkill, but that's fine. Better than underkill. Let me target the spider, please. There we go. I need, I need my keyboard to get up there. All right, so. Okay, then we have no more AP, so we'll just shiv the murder dog. Okay. Oh, might as well shoot. That'll do probably more damage than otherwise. Scamper, scamper. Ow. Yeah, I was hoping to kill that one off too. Oh, sweet. That works. You won, bad dog. No meat. Blech. Not Oh jeez. <laughs> Perhaps I need some spooky armor on. Cause all these enemies are doing like spooky damage. Going to town. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some some stuff to the scarecrow. Since a lot of stuff here just seems to do a spooky damage. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there we go. That should help with, against some of these enemies. What is this? Oh. Look, the hit pieces of one attempt to have a whole handful. Potion, food. Okay. So we've, so we've already got a... We've already got um, food buffs. Oxy, hut armor, sleaze armor. Uh, is there a better food I can use? Honestly, prison slop doesn't sound that bad right now because of the spooky armor. Cheese, spooky armor. 
devil's food cake, perfect slice of toast, a single kernel of corn, human bean liver, mmm, iced corn, shadow pickle, extra fatty pate, self braising pate. Wafered corn cereal sounds pretty decent. Swamp mushroom. Hmm. The current thing is that uh, one moxie and like some other stuff, I think. Yeah, one moxie, three hot armor, three sleaze armor. Yeah, let's uh, replace that. With more HP and uh, spooky armor. Yeah. Eat the slop. It's nutritious, but in a just society, the flavor would constitute cruel and unusual punishment. So all these probable spe pro hot pile of bug diggings. Burning bush. Shadow mead. Mmm. This is what the anti-Vikings drank. Hello? It's for you. That isn't them. I'm there in their house now. I am there with them. This is not them. I'll burn the telephone then. Stop doing that. These phones are expensive. <laughs> Is this just like a place to fight stuff? It might be. Uh, what about the ballet theater? This, col this cold column is covered with cold bugs. Well... This rock seems to be the source of the unnatural coldness area. The rock was happy once. It provided the power to this place. The lights, the curtains, the sewing machines they used to repair the tutus when they got all torn up. Once, it helped bring people joy and culture. Now there is only ruin and sadness. And violence and cold. Such cold. Man, that rock is a real bummer. Okay, I'll take some shadow wine. <laughs> Hello? What will you do on a rainy day? When your house is on fire, how will you get out? When you're in the train, who will save you? What, what question do you want me to answer first? This isn't them. I understand. Do you want this telephone? Or shall I burn it? Give it! Give it to me! <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> do I fight these? Want to hop on the stage and join in the terrible show? Bust some moves? Heads? Uh, let's explore some more. Find the crumbling foundation of once was in the towering obsidian pillar. Talk to it. It becomes clear to you that this rock was pretty frightening even before the entire area became a terrifying, blighted ruin. Maybe the old government was just as scary as a new one. It really makes you think. You stop thinking, though, when a spooky mist gathers around you and drifts into your pocket. Of course, yeah. Totally. There's this thing. Still. Yeah, another copy of the strange metal thing. One was weird enough, but three of them is an outright mystery. Ignore the phone. Can't get inside. Someone swiped the steps. It's a real shame they shut down the Federal Bureau of, Bureau of Defenestration. <laughs> how are you gonna How are you gonna throw someone out of a window now? Okay, it doesn't look like there's much here. So let's let's wander off to somewhere else. Ah! It's another group of those poor shadow crazed people. One of them seems to be trying to eat his own face without taking it off first. And the others are providing supportive noise. It's sad stuff. But the concept of therapy has barely just been invented, let alone refined in any way. So there isn't much you can do for them, other than try desperately not to get murdered by them. Which, let's be honest here, is really more to your own benefit. OK. 
hit. Let's kill this little critter. Time to shift. All right, get him, Molly. Blow him out of the sky. Well, I guess not really the sky, but. Ooh, that's a nice amount of meat. You won, maybe a four snap will set him down a bit. More government cheese and Buzz grows stronger. There's the phone again. This hydrant has multiple things wrong with it. Some gross fungus on this column. Looks like somebody failed their not abandoning your car test. Does it bother you? What? How do you make all these telephone calls? Oh, listen, it's them. Boo! <laughs> they look sad. Oh, they're not bothering anyone. Let's burn them and see what they do. Wait, no. Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is, this is the DM. You want to go into this building on purpose? It won't budge. It's probably just as well. You don't even have a car. <laughs> All right. Army recruitment, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. It's not one of those hovering tumor clusters. I mean, looking at it is bad enough, but fighting it? You probably have to hit it with a melee attack. Even if you win, it's probably popping a juice everywhere. Some might get in your mouth. Yeah, well, whatever. We gotta fight it. It's not like it's gonna stop. Gosh, these things are just like an annoying like level of HP. That's one we can kill off with orchestra strikes. Maybe. Oh no, not quite. Oh, well, yes, but. Hmm. I'm gonna do 15 damage with one round of this stuff. Oh, go on. Oh, that one's just dead. I don't know what happened. Alright, I mean, cool. That, that works pretty good. Let's kill this thing. Since we just kind of can. Well, that's not, not a bad deal for... Who says there's no cure for cancer? Buzz grows slightly stronger. The soda machine has been knocked over, has knocked itself over in an act of conscientious objection. Modern army soda. Can says this isn't your father's cola, which is a bold move considering how many of today's soda drinkers lost their fathers in the cola wars. <laughs> yeah. This arc doesn't belong here. This arc doesn't belong anywhere! Woo! You're out of you're out of questions. We make a guess now? I don't have any more questions or guesses. Can I guess? 
It is me. I am your dream date. What? I have been your dream date the whole time. If I hang up, will you find me? Yes, I know where you are. Congratulations, I think. Silence. The line is dead. Maybe that's for the best. They got a perk. You've heard too much. That's not for whom the phone rings. Oh. This payphone technology is amazing. It's just eldritch, like, rain forever. Door to the army recruitment office is square. All of driving menacing. Just like the army itself. Hey, yo. It won't budge. It's probably just as well. You have no zero interest in joining the military. Good. Never do that. Uh, well, let's go to Black House, I guess. Oh, there's some more XP. Got a feeling we're not going to be able to go in here until after the stuff at the uh, other place. Encyclopedia of Blood. That gives us a little bit more HP. You're learning a lot from this book, though. Maybe learning isn't the right word. Well, alright. Well, that's about everything we can reasonably do in this area. We have to go back to the IRS and go into the spooky, uh... Uh, more more weird weird ballerinas This one's, this is a pretty easy battle, honestly. Well, that wasn't so bad. Ballerina tees, another tutu. Oh, this is a shredded tutu, not like an on fire one. The shredders are your exposed thighs will look when you're wearing it. <laughs> Some more meat, too. Well, let's go back in. The giant mouth, the gnashing maw shadow. It seems to want to swallow you. The demonic mouth spits you out into to a sparsely decorated office. Assuming bookshelves filled with identical ledgers counts as decoration. The whole room is sterile and boring, and reminds you of Terence Poindexter, partly because of the sterile boringness, but also he's standing in it. Is it finally time to deal with this jerk once and for all? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, guess this is the end of the game, or at least. Somewhat. Terrence glares at you and adjusts his necktie haughtily. The necktie isn't pictured, but yes, of course he's wearing a necktie. Approach him. Ah, Martini, you fall into my trap right on schedule. Brave words, considering how I kicked your ass in the swamp. And in doing so, you taught me everything I need to know about you. Your moves, your tricks, your tactics. You have no surprises left for me. Well, if you think I'm going to switch allegiance to join your Dark Crusade or whatever, you got another thing, thing coming. I wasn't going to ask. I despise you. Fine, I despise you too, as expected. Fine! Fast talk him for a sneak attack. You hold out your empty hands and take a few casual steps forward. Look, let's not be hasty. We aren't so different, you and me. I'm sure we can settle this as thoughtful people. A thin knife drops out of your, your sleeve and then your, to your hands as you quickly stab at point Dexter's liver. But his liver isn't there. He stepped to the side before your attack even started. He smiles thinly at you. You slash at him, but his hand is already moving. He taps your wrist, deflecting the attack. Your knife stabs his wooden desk and sticks there. You may fancy yourself a shrewd operator, Teeny, but I am a master of calculation. To me, you are utterly predictable. He reaches in your, into his inner pocket and pulls out his pistol. Snatch it. With a quick twist of your wrist, you sna snap a gun out of his hand and into yours. Grimly, you press it to his chest and pull the trigger. It clicks up empty. Sharp sensation causes you to look down. His other hand holds holds your knife, just barely pricking the skin over your liver. His eyes glitter darkly. Utterly predictable. You leap backwards out of reach. He smiles again and twirls the knife between his fingers like a pin. Oh, there's one thing you can't predict, Poindexter. Jazz. Jazz? Improvisation? You think improv is unpredictable? Name a funny animal. Uh, penguin. You thought too long for it to be monkey. 
I was gonna say giraffe! <laughs> Jazz is as predictable as anything else that consists of numbers, fool. And everything consists of numbers. Oh yeah? Numbers this. You try to let your mind go blank and feel the vibe of the fight. Then decide so quickly as it's hardly a decision. You hurled an empty pistol at his groin. I'll put this in simple terms for you, Martini. You cannot touch me. You are an open ledger to me, and it's one I've already audited. I've calculated your every move down to the second decimal. Well, Poindexter. Virgo jazz can't stop you, and improvi improvisational jazz can't stop you. I'll just have to invent a new kind of jazz you can't predict. Impossible. There's no such thing. There is now. Completely random jazz. You pull a pair of dice out of your pocket, step forward, and slam them on the desk. What? Ridiculous. Roll the dice. Rolled two and a four for a total of six. You faint left, right, left, and then pop him one right in the nose. <laughs> Didn't seem like you broke it, but he sure felt it. Roll again. Rolled five, four, and nine. You fake a left cross and smash him with a hard right. <laughs> the force nearly spins him backwards. Ah! You think you can defeat me with a simple table of possible outcomes? I can predict every entry. His eyes turn completely black. Tendrils of shadow drift out of him as a vein throbs in his temple. <coughs> your third attack will be your last. Roll again. Rolled five and four for a total of nine. You ignore the dice. <laughs> Point after dodge an attack that doesn't come, and you're waiting right there for him. You grab him by the collar. What? Jazz isn't the attacks you make, Point Dexter. It's the attacks you don't make. <laughs> you smash your forehead into the bridge of his nose with a loud crunch. Dark blood fountains into the air as he collapses f backwards on the floor. You were right, you know. My third attack was my last. Get out of here. Leave this place, this country, and don't ever come back. You can predict what will happen if you do. His eyes have returned to normal again, skin, defined even in defeat. <laughs> I suppose so. I hope you're proud of yourself, beating up an old man. You started it. I finished it. Perhaps, but it needn't be finished just yet. After all, you haven't seen my second form. Second form? That's right. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. You would have to fight it, of course. In regular combat, no takebacks. But, but if you don't, you'll never see it. You'll never know. Show me. Oh! He's like a big shadow dragon. <laughs> He's a little wrinkly dragon, dude. Jeez, that is one heck of a second form. Gross. Is it? Oh, he takes normal damage. This is gonna be easy. Uh, let's just take half of his HP in one in one go. And then we'll just jazz him to death. And we'll do this to just do a ton of damage. Oh, he's dead. All right, well. All right. You won, and you did it while getting a minimum of giant worm slime on you. All right, well. I don't know if that's really him, but. Oh, there we go. There's any information about Uncle Murray in here. You can tell because it would have been clearly labeled and filed under M. You do find an important looking key filed under the K, I through L, though. Each of these textbooks is 0.24% of the municipal tax code. Oh, hey, it's Molly. The unsinkable Molly buttons. Will it, will it let us just like leave now that we've fought Point Dexter worm mode, I guess? Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> that freaking exchange of us just doing dice was pretty good. It, was, it reminds me of like Sherlock Holmes kind of shit. Which admittedly, old man Sherlock had some fucking moxie to him, so I guess it makes sense. Alright, well, there's only one place left to go, the Black House. Uh, let's see, books. Is there anything I can upgrade here that'd be useful? You got a perk, poison metabolizer. Oh, sweet. That's good. Heard them all. Give sleaze armor, stench armor, <laughs> nostril damas. I choose not to be cold. Encyclopedia of blood, piano repair. Piano repair for abject imbeciles. Uh, delicious mutton recipes. Fish. 
Can we get more with this? Um, spooky armor is probably good to have, considering this part of the game is just lots of spooky things, so. This case is seriously locked. You slide the key into the lock and turn. Both the key and the lock suddenly disintegrate, leaving the gate unsecured. You! You're late! Ah! Rude. Whoa, Mar! Is a, it's Uncle Murray! Uncle Murray, are you okay? Surprisingly fine, kiddo. Not sure why they didn't just murder me, but I'm glad they didn't. Me too, we gotta stop the president from doing whatever her crazy plan is. Darn right, would you. But wait, what's that? What's that? You got something behind your ear. Haha, <laughs> <Gee>, a nickel. <laughs> Jeez, don't ever change, Uncle Murray. What happened to you? Well, Jessica told you I've been hunting a series of cursed art artifacts, right? Yeah, that's how I found you. We've been using the Detectotron to find more of them, to try and follow your trail. So Charles got that thing working finally? That sure would save me some trouble. Anyway, a fella sold me a pin that could only write obscenities. Turned out with a little coaxing, you could also get it to write its real owner's current address, which was here. I wrote that letter to you before coming to stake out the place. They caught me while I was snooping around. Who's this president woman? I don't know much about her, but her name's Margaret something. Margaret Thatcher! <laughs> Every 11 years ago, her barn exploded. That's where all the artifacts came from, I think. They were stuff that was in the barn at the time. It must have been one heck of an explosion. No kidding. Five years later, she's city comptroller, and now I guess she's shadow president? Whatever that is. What's she planning? Wish, wish I knew. She built some kind of crazy machine, but I don't know, know exactly what it's for. The amount of shadow injury she's collecting, the power, it can't be anything good. How do we stop her? Well, she set up three big weird pylons or obelisks or something. I think their function is to pull shadow energy directly out of wherever it comes from and pump it into a machine here in a black house. So we should destroy those? Yep. Ideally, before a machine does whatever it's meant to do. Destroy three things. Good. It's nice to have a specific straightforward gold for once. I'm pretty sure I've seen all three of them before. Not far from here, yeah? All right, let's get, let's get moving. What's this? Okay, so we have to go find those three things. Pretty sure one was here. Or, I thought we already got through this. Hello? Mar, this is Johnny, the Hobo King. My secret Hobo King power has alerted me that you might be in need. How did you know what number to call? I just picked up my phone and it connected me to you. Is that not how phones work? Well, anyway, yes. I do need some help. There's a big weird pillar thing here that needs destroyed. No problem. I'll send a crew of hobos immediately. Oh, fuck yeah! The boys! Get it! Get it! <laughs> Hell yeah! Property damage! My favorite! Done! <laughs> Was it here? Can't remember where the other two were. Apparently not here. We can do 15 damage this first one here. Okay, and that leaves us 3 AP. Which you can use to kill this. Oh, we can weaken this one. For the tainted dog, we can just off. Next turn, or well, when it gets its turn, it will die because of the poison and bleed and bleed or whatever. So we'll hurt. We'll hurt you, and just hope that Molly doesn't hit the dog. With the Tommy gun shots. Well, that's eh, fine. I'll just be taking that back, thank you. Slurp. Mmm, delicious. Oh, 
Well, that's very dead. Cause she can do 12 damage now. Buzz grows stronger. Yay. Well, I'm running out of places to go where this would be, so. This telephone is in use. <laughs> I that's a very, that's a bit of a slow burn joke. I'm for, I'm a fan of that. Okay, so perhaps down here the PDQ central office. In case you killed the shadow police, as you do. So this is so this pilot thing you mentioned, Murray. I never saw a dagger or whatever you have, but looking at it, I guess it's a pretty same assumption. And I just have to destroy it. Another two, but yes, destroying them should cut off the majority of the power to the president's machine. Easier said than done, though. This thing's made of pure umbritanium alloy. Pure what now? Shadow metal. Try repeatedly punching it. Are you sure it might work, but your hands won't anymore? Well, we don't need hands where we're going. Good job, kiddo. We better hustle and find the last one. What was it? The bus stop? Lots of meat from that battle. Okay, I was, uh, now I wasn't sure where I saw it. Uh, maybe, I think it was the telephone facility, actually. I uh, may think about it. Yeah, it's right here. The strange metal pillar thrums, fulfilling its terrible, terrible purpose. Punching the last pillar will work, but now your knuckles are broken. Rather than bang your head against the problem, it's work. You try a more literal and physical way. We don't need a head where we're going. <laughs> Got an idea what we can do now. Uh, what? Where was it? Malross House. The pug wuggy stole all my doll's furniture. The what? The mean little elves, like in the fairy tales? Oh god, not more fairies. Uh, we'll, we'll go, we'll go there to the fair, weird fairy village after we try to get rid of our debuffs. Here. I think we have to go up, yeah, we have to go to the upstairs bathroom. Oh, never mind. I guess we can't get rid of these buffs. Debuffs, rather. Well, I guess in that case, let's let's visit. Let's check out the the village. We got some free meat. <laughs> you punch a hole through the back wall of the store and take any, everything that fits you. A miniature firehouse. You hear some put puck wuggies milling inside. Oh my God! They're just tiny little elf people. Any of these have like very little health left. Got 
one AP, we can do 24 damage. With our uh, dribble, since my muscles lowered because I was an idiot and punched the freaking obelisk. That doesn't, I don't think that's how math works. I thought it was like 24 damage, but maybe it just does like some initial damage too. I, I don't know. Not really sure. Just gonna do a little weirdo. Oh. We, we had to process all 12 times of a dancing around and getting hit. Puck Wudgy Massage Oil. Green Puck Wudgy Hat. <laughs> a Puck Wudgy Arson Charm. <laughs> the Fire Ass Ardor is cooled. There's no more looting to be done here. The Puck Wudgy Hospital is a place of healing and hurting. <laughs> I wish Sacks of Violence did more damage, but it is three damage to everyone. Hard to really complain about that one. All right, send that one to the Shadow Realm. We'll kill this one, I suppose. Frankly, we can throw a baseball or something at one of them to do some damage. Do I not have any more? Oh, I do have some baseballs. Uh, we can throw baseball at you. We can throw another one, but I don't really need to. And then we'll just shiv this one. <laughs> Alright, then let her rip. <laughs> Vicious little bastard, huh? Get him. Good job, Buzz. Puck Wudgy Poison Vial. Purple Puck Wudgy Hat. Wearing a purple triangle on your head is a signal to other people that you don't care whether or not your hat looks stupid. Medicine bag. Ooh, it's not a, that's not a bad accessory, honestly. Seven max HP and two more HP regen. Those are stronger from our assault on the the hospital. High rise puck wedgie apartment building. You can easily rile a few of them up if you bang on some windows. <laughs> We can just end this fight without having to actually attack. Well, do the shiv, I guess. Just all the AP stuff, because, yeah. Massage oil. An orange puck wudgy hat. It's an unfashionable shape, but don't worry. It's also an embarrassing color. <laughs> Another medicine bag and some... They probably weren't even... He, sex he successfully evicted that family of puck wudgies. They probably weren't even related. We can just fight some more if we really wanted to. By the temperature in the Arctic, you say this is a nice house. Peek inside. Peek inside the ice house. It's full of big clumps, big plump chilled grubs. Through the skylight, you can see Puck Wudgy massage there. Start at work. Pull them out. <laughs> hmm. This one's gonna die, die from an orchestra strike anyway. Some of these are a little beefier. Yeah, some of these are a little beefier than I would 
no, otherwise prefer. We'll leave this one like one HP. And then we'll knock off pro It says 20, it says eight, eight damage three times, but it seems like it does more than that, like. Yeah, that seemed like it did more than it was meant to do. I mean, I'm fine with that at 100%, but it's just like, hmm. All right, and we'll shiv you. And then Molly, you just unload. <laughs> Low dude's just head banging. Woo! Oh, you're gonna stab someone. Uh oh. Uh oh. One entire damage. A mosquito does more damage than you. No shit. No shade to you, Buzz. You're you're a legend. <laughs> Stab. Ah! Get a nice amount of meat to make up from this. You rubbed out the the Monsieur menace. Feels good. The parlor is now devoid of pleasure. Mm, shadow rope. Ooh. These barracks must be the order the Pukwudgies keep their little army. Declare war. These ones might be a little stronger than the rest. Okay, two extra strikes will kill this one. And that leaves me two AP. We're gonna we're gonna weaken one of these. Probably that one. Pukwudgie Spear Maiden. I mean, they're all gonna like bother. These two are gonna bother um, Molly. So let's kill them. Okay, I was just checking Discord real quick to make sh make sure we weren't a. Uh, I could just kill this one outright. Which would make Martini take less damage. Yeah, we're killing this one. I'm gonna do nine bleeding, that's just annoying. Yeah, no. Bonk! <laughs> it's less damage overall, but that doesn't matter because this turn is gonna be this Pukwudgie's last turn alive anyway, so you know. Slurp. Poison file, a shank. Well, that'd be like a slightly worse version of the thing I have now. And Buzz goes stronger, nice. Pucko Jeremy is now AWOL. <laughs> okay, there's our grubs. The sign says Pucko Village established July 22, 1828. That's weirdly specific. I love the fucking like raven, like the crow cawing in the background. That sometimes in some of the battle music, it's silly. I'm very happy I chose the jazz agent. It's very interesting. It's just a, it's just an interesting uh, class. I think in the main Kingdom Loathing game, the Moxie class is one I tried playing as well. Like Disco something or other. Okay, I'd have to look it up. I've, it's been a minute since I thought about Kingdom of Loathing. Well, I guess we'll fight a few more. It's not like 
they really put up much of a fight. Most of the time they die before they even really fight back, so. Yeah, we can just orchestra or or strike these two. And then I can just shiv the shiv the last one. And we win. <laughs> just get a bunch of free meat. Stuff we could probably sell. I don't know if there's like anything that we have to do here. If this is just like, hey, you can come here and just cause trouble. Hey, I'm fine with causing a little bit of trouble. But yeah, uh, let's go back to... Uh, the Let's go back to the Black House. Oh, these things aren't very scary either. Their brain is just shadow things. It's technically more damage to do this, but I don't know if it matters, but we'll do it anyway. What am I doing? I could just end this fight now. No reason to like, draw it out. I can do that. That does a lot of damage. For like one AP, it's very good. And just Buzz just keeps growing a little stronger each time. Um, what are our pants doing? Some armor. Okay, yeah, they're pretty okay. I'd say. Looks worried, but ready for action. All right, your, your your stinky shutters are. You rush into the foyer of the Black House. Murray leads you up a corridor and down a flight of stairs to a huge basement laboratory. The room is dom dominated by a massive, writhing Terran space, seemingly confined to an um a Britannium frame. The president is typing fiercely at a computer console nearby, but she turns around momentarily when you enter. She glares at you, practically hissing. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that idiot Point Dexter to deal with you. I noticed the shadow flow had dropped back to ambient levels. I assumed that was your doing. Yeah, I busted your weird pillars, and now I'm busting you. Oh, oh no. I'd be upset if you weren't too late. Oh, nuts. Yeah, nuts to you. The portal is open, and after I make these last few calibrations, the Emperor of all Shadows will be summoned to this, pl this plane to kneel before me. I will rule this universe, not as the President of Shadows, but, but the Empress. Wow, that's a much bigger goal than I was expecting. Yeah, well, go big or go home, right? <laughs> Anyway, don't try to stop me. Without my attention at this console, keep the action steady. This whole thing can implode and turn the whole tri-state area into a smoking crater. Jeez, okay, well, mind if I take a look around? Sure, whatever. Just don't pester me until you want, unless you want everyone you've ever heard, heard of you to die. All right, well. At some point, this horrible, this horrible project must have involved some chemistry. Well. Weightlifting chalk. Sure. That's a potion. I was hoping to make some sort of like battle item. Well, I think. Eat the toilet. <laughs> this has seen a lot, especially recently. These chemicals are as dangerous as bar a barrel of monkeys with shotguns for arms. <laughs> Murray's holding a weird something. What's that? An unbritannium bomb. I cobbled it together from parts I found lying around while you were distracting the president. Good job. Oh, no problem. Yeah, that was intentional. But uh, what's your plan exactly? From what she said, it sounds pretty bad to mess with this stuff. She's trying to summon something, right? Figure by applying enough pressure at just the right time, we can reverse the flow and make it an, an out portal instead of an in portal. Ah, I get it. So we'll suck her out into space and no more problem. Well, not exactly. Rather, yes, but that's not the end of it. We also have to take care of whatever's waiting on the other side of that portal. Uh, oh, you're saying I have to go through and fight it, aren't you? I don't know if it'll be a literal fight or whatever, but yeah, that's the long short of it, kiddo. This is the end game, and there's no coming back from this. Are you ready? Well, so let's be more specific. This is literally the end game. Once I set this bomb off and you go through the portal, you can't come back, and the game ends one way or another. But nothing gets saved after you go, so you can reload back here and keep playing afterwards. I don't really understand what you mean by that. That's okay, kiddo. It wasn't really you I was talking to. 
Let me take care of some, let's look around the rest of the room first. Let's make some battle items that are like <laughs> comfort bomb heal and me. Hmm. Abrasive discus. Um Let's get another one. Let's get some more of these uh hermetic icor things. Oh, okay, we're out of anarchists uh stuff, so let's just see if we can uh make some pretty standard uh things. Nasty bag. Prefab scab. All right, that. A lot of engineering and no cult books. Nothing really catches your eye. The sad little hot plate. We don't. We don't even have any food stuff for. Uh, a dough baby. What? Huh. You carefully follow the recipe and whip up a little dough baby. Give it a name. Little Charlie. That's perfect. Oh my god. Look at this little critter. If we had longer to play in the game, I'd probably make have you be my little friend. But we're a little, uh... We're near the end, you could say. Um... Give me one second, I'm gonna use the bathroom and then we'll be back to like cause the tri-state area to explode. Alright, I am back. Now, I could leave and buy some more anarchist uh, hardware to make some more uh, healing items or whatever, but I think we're probably fine. Let's do it. I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, I was it was good seeing you again, kiddo. I think I got this bomb wire so I can toss it and set it off from here by overloading this other who's it. Which hopefully won't end up getting me killed. But what happens? You gotta jump through right away. I don't know how much time you'll have. Jeez, okay, be careful. You too, kid. Ready? Yeah. No! Hell yeah, fire in the hole! Resolution. Well, that's, uh... You and Molly and the President and her machines on a sizable chunk of the floor appear in the middle of a pale void Lit by the just-arrived light of stars that burnt out uncountable eons ago. Ah, no, what did you do? Do a little monkey wrench in your plans. Don't try to act cool about this. You don't have the slightest idea what kind of power you're messing with. Oh, yeah? Like what? Welcome, playthings. You look over to the right where you see a hovering swarm of giant mouths and eyes. You get the feeling this is your brain's best attempt to render what you're actually seeing in a way that won't simply annihilate your mind. In particular, that. Oh. Was this whole deal just a giant monkey's paw? Like, did I achieve ultimate power but also get cursed to be constantly surrounded by morons? Hey! The portal frame still looks intact. Maybe I can reopen it and fix this. Oh, you can get us back? I can get me back, and then continue with my plan to summon the Emperor to our universe under controllable conditions as intended. Yes. What if I don't want you to do that? Do I look like someone who gives a hot crap what you want? Go away. Go die in the void. Sheesh, someone's cranky. Ooh, that's trippy. 
Oh, hey, Molly, I don't suppose you got any ideas. Well, sugar, usually my plan A is bullets, and plan B is more bullets. What's plan C? I never needed a plan C before. I've never met anything that couldn't be shot with bullets before, but, hmm. She holds the necklace Nancy gave her. The single Tommy gun cartridge in the grave. Nancy and Molly forever. You think this is, this is one of those situations where the power of true love vanquishes evil, that sort of thing? Well, I wasn't going to say it like that. This technology is incomprehensible to you. You inspect the portal frame, but can't think of anything to do with what it would help. Which implies that you missed some optional stuff, but that's what replays are for. Nuts. Oh, well, there's the, uh, mouths. Be not afraid. <laughs> Interrupt her machinations. Uh, hi. Any chance I could get you to give up on your plan to enslave humanity and the universe in general? Johnson Christ, if I had brought a gun with me, you would be so dead right now. Look, can we, can't we, no, we can't, but I will strangle you with my bare hands first. Fine. Oh. Uh-oh, TV. It's been invented. Up oh, shit. After the metaphorical smoke cleared, you found yourself stuck in the weird extra-dimensional space where the final showdown happened. Unfortunately, the fact that you created a temporal paradox for you left the universe meant that you could never come back to normal reality. You waited a billion years, and that was only the beginning. Actually, it's meaningless to say it was the beginning. The first billion years weren't any different than the next billion. You were still there. You always have been. The universe ended, and you weren't in it. Murray's bomb blasted him past the borders of reality. He drifted, he drifted outside of the world for a span of time that might have been 5 minutes or 5,000 years. The only way to be sure is to not press a key for 5,000 years. Then you'll know it was that long. <laughs> a few weeks later, Jessica accidentally activated the failsafe in her dimensional homing teleporter Murray had left in one of his desk drawers. She was looking for a pin. Murray was registered the ether and then unceremoniously dumped on the floor of the antique store. It's been a whole a while talk, trying to figure out what happened to you, but didn't have any luck. Being outside of the entirety of time and space makes you pretty hard to track down. Eventually, Murray gave up and started looking for another relative to help him with his future ventures. <laughs> the purple door did a brisk, a brisk trade until the end of Prohibition, at which point it did an even brisker one. When they started televising underground bare knuckle boxing, Gabby got really excited and joined the league. <laughs> Her combat style was a mixture of different martial arts that became known as super weird fighting. <laughs> <clears throat> Molly and Nancy went on to become the most notorious bank robbing duo in history. They were last seen somewhere in Bolivia. <laughs> After spending a few years catching up on the latest scientific developments, P Professor Adams rebronzed himself. The streets of Ocean City are relatively safe, a few gang fights notwithstanding. King Johnny got the camp loaded into the ocean, with Samuel doing most of the heavy lifting. Ooh, ooh, bum, 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 bum. With the wind at their backs, they set sail for distant shores. Thanks to Ovid, everyone had a nice, comfortable place to sleep. It got a little boring at times, but Dusty brought a deck of cards. Whenever anyone got scratched up or sick, Doc was there to provide some medical attention. The nights were cold, but between Be Beatrice's wool and Calendula's moonshine, everyone kept pretty cozy. They ate creamed fish, thanks to Walter and Creamy Steve. Cornelius and Beanie provided cornbread and beans. After a long and difficult journey, they arrived at the land they had promised for themselves. They found a new nation, a nation of hobos, by hobos, for hobos, with liberty and justice for hobos. Marvin went on to set the world record for mailbox. <laughs> he held the record for nearly a week. He had recently become interested in flagpoles. The bishop's inspection went swimmingly, and the vicar of St. Polycarp's was soon promoted to vice pope. With the whole grisly murder business behind her, Miss Brewster went on to win the Boarding House of the Decade Award from the International Salesman's League. Crystal's store was moderately successful, but she was confident that for about 40 years, business would boom. 70 years from now, the historic village of Sandwich is still a popular tourist attraction. It's particularly popular among mixed-up hipsters who get it confused with Sandwich, Brooklyn. <laughs> <clears throat> Josie Morton went on to discover a new, extremely volatilized type of hypercrystalline thomomorphic diorite. With it, she eventually invented the devastating weapon that brought about the end of the skeleton wars. 
This story mostly remembers her for what she said after the weapon's first successful field test. I am become Death's Death, destroyer of skeletons. Your spider student decided to do a little bit of field research in the Crystal Dream Valley. It went about as well as you'd expect. In 1981, Mudhenge was acquired by Stonehenge Corporation, renamed Stonehenge Mud, and shut down. Of course. With your help, Rhonda Rasmussen became the first person in history to fly all the way around a swamp. Her fame lasted until nearly a month later, when Charles Lindbergh was seen buying a new set of shoelaces. The loss of Tom and Kathy plunged Larthmouth Bass and Sons into a succession crisis. In the chaos, the bastard reboner rebo returned from exile and made his claim to the throne. <laughs> John and Paul Leathers were convicted of mailman slaughter and are prepared to be sent to be sent a Pino Connolly on, our, on Mars. The Mulras place remained uninhabited until 1990s, where it became a hotbed for swinging, sexy singles. With no natural predators to thin their numbers, Mac Milk and Cuddy's sheep bred out of control. He wanted to become the Rangin's primary supplier of both mittens and mutton. Despite all your efforts, the maze maze stayed pretty much exactly the same forever. Billy sh made sure of that. <laughs> the old ham mill never spun again. The end. Press any key. Well, I accidentally... <laughs> Credits a little thing. I accidentally skipped through the first part of things. <laughs> Whistling. Whistle recording. Traffic fatalities. Still great. Beta testers. Yay! Bats the dog, Cookie the dog, Loki the cat, Monocle the cat, Moxie the dog, that's a great name for a fucking pet. Oscar, Penny, Roxy, Stinko, Whiskey. Thanks so much for playing our game. We know it took significant time and effort to get here, and we appreciate your attention and endeavors. Alright. I messed up somewhere. I kind of want to see what I uh, missed. Like, I, I skipped through a bunch. Like, I skipped through a bunch of text without really meaning to, so I want to see what that is, and I'll just skip through the rest. Yeah, I told her to like, use the power of love to, to shoot the, the monster, so we'll see what I missed. Cause I was just spamming because I was like, oh let's spam stuff, because I'm I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's seeing sounds cliche, but love truly is the most powerful force in the universe. If it has a gun. You found yourself stuck in the weird blah 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 blah. You're still there, yep. We're just gonna skip through these because we already saw them. Mashing the A and D keys to kind of just So we're gonna skip this and then we're gonna see the uh, We're gonna try to fight that big creature instead <laughs> We helped a lot of people <laughs> Billy made sure of that. <laughs> yep. Let's get to this stuff, and then we'll, we'll we'll try to fight the thing. We'll see if how many other endings there are, just like based off of like this part that we're at. I'm sure there's another ending where we like sneak through the portal and like it shuts down or something, but I don't know what we need to do for that. We're gonna do this again. Burn hole! 
we'll see if there's like an actual boss fight. I'm expecting there to be. Ridiculous! Intimidating. Listen, Buff, you better ha <laughs> ha reason with it. Look, that's just. Your words have no power here. Well, you tried. Yeah. Well. Let's fight it. <laughs> fight me? Very well. I'll give you one chance. All or nothing. As you draw your weapon, you hear someone behind you. Hi, hello. Gabby's here to give the fight. It will be a flush result. Assist. Oh shit, we have everyone! Just 
dump all of our damage on you. Wonder what the difference will be. Probably not that much different. We're probably still lost forever, but we at least beat the the abomination. Well, sometimes the best way to deal with the universe destroying threat is to just, just hit it with something until it stops moving. Nice work. Okay, uh, we are uh, still just kind of gone. We'll look at the other stuff to see if it changed. With us, like winning. Yeah. He, he Gabby's in the freaking bare knuckle boxing league. <laughs> They're still just bank robbers. Look at them. That'll be work. Think of too many more things to try. I mean, we could try to surrender to it, but that's probably not going to do much different for us. Okay, all this stuff is there. Overall, very satisfied with this game. Very much worth the price. Very fun. Very highly recommend. 
there's two other classes we can play too, it's just like different kind of playstyle deal. Granted, that's not as big of a deal a problem. I mean it's it's let me turn that. It's different because like like the whole theme of things is different when you're not like a jazz agent as opposed to like the whatever the other two classes are I forget. probably try to fiddle around with the Minecraft for a little bit, and then we'll probably start that up, then tell dinner, and then, yeah, we'll play some Minecraft, get that started, because we're starting, we're doing all the mod 7 now, instead of 8, because, yeah, something, something with, something with, something with all the mods 8 just causes crashes, and that's not very much fun, but, but yeah, that's uh, Shadows Over Loathing. I didn't think we were that close to the end, but I guess we were. But cool. Fun game. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend West of Loathing as well. Very good game. But yeah, so that's going to be this stream finished. Um, I might start at 3.30 for the next stream. Or I'll probably like end and talk with my roommate, see when she wants to do dinner, and then we can kind of go from there on when I'm going to start this next one, because... I expected this to go a little longer, but we did just about everything I could really think to do in that game. I'm sure there's a little more, but eh, that's fine. But yeah, this one, this is going to end this stream. Thank you all for hanging out. Those are, oh, I appreciate you being here. But yeah, we're going to be doing uh, the Minecraft, <laughs> the Minecraft, yes. Um, all the mods 7 when I get back, probably around 3.30, depending on when my roommate wants to do dinner. We'll determine how long that one goes, and after dinner, I'll do more, because that's kind of just the plan for today. But yeah, I'm going to end this stream. Let me see if I can raid someone real fast. See who's on. It's probably like 10 different people streaming right now. In general, yeah. Uh, looks like we're going to hop, stop in and see how Jedi's doing. Playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Sweet. Sounds like a good time. So yeah, I'm going to end my stream, and we're going to raid into Jedi Cardet. Cool, cool chap. Cool person. Highly recommend. So, yep, I'm going to end my stream, and we're going to raid into Jedi Cardet. See y'all there.